what do you need to sign up for Amazon Associates? Basically, you need an Amazon username. If you have ever shopped on Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.in, any, any of the other local sites, then you already have an Amazon ID and you can use the same ID to actually uh, sign up as an Amazon affiliate. So click join now for free. And you'll notice that Amazon asks you, do you have an Amazon.com password? Okay, so if you have an Amazon account, you can select I'm a returning customer and my password is, okay, so it's the same password as uh, the one that you use when you buy products from Amazon and also the same email address. Now, let, what if you don't have an Amazon account, then you can just sign up directly over here, put in your email address and click I am a new customer and then click sign in using our secure server. So the next step is to enter your name, okay, email address, name again and password. and click on create account. Okay, so Amazon says, please check your email address and try again. This is because I already have an existing account with Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my existing account and click on I'm a returning customer and my password is, and I'm going to sign in using my existing account. Okay, so I've entered my email address and password and click on sign in using our secure server. All right. Okay, so the first thing that you'll see is Amazon asks for your uh, address. And this is the address. If you see an address here, don't panic. It's because you have shopped at Amazon before and therefore Amazon already has your address when you use the same account to log in. Now you can select the pay, the pay listed above or someone else. Okay, and next your website list. All right, so here is where you add your website. Um, and if the Nishify website you created is your first website, then make sure you enter the full URL for that website over here. Let me give you an example. All right, you can add one website. And another fake example. I'm not sure if this is going to go through. Okay, so your default Nishify URL will look something like this. Click on Add Website and click on Next. Okay, are any of the sites listed above directed primarily at children under 13 years of age? These sites are not eligible to display banners, widgets. Okay, so if your site targets uh, minors or children under 13 years of age, you can't add them here. Otherwise, click No and uh, proceed to Website Profile. All right. Now, for website subject and content, what is the name of your website? You will need to enter the name over here. All right. But notice that Amazon says, we will use this name to generate your unique associates ID. Okay, so you should put the name of your site over here. Okay, for example, cradle.com. So the name of my website is Cradle. Now for another website, iPhone.nichepod.com, for example, it may be iPhone accessories. And let Amazon know what your website is about. Okay. So it's important that you enter the actual description. Don't follow what I'm doing here because Amazon may actually look at what you've entered over here. Next, which of the following topics best describes the topic of your website? Okay and select what you think is the most relevant. Okay, I'm going to select business. Those are all very uh, generic, general categories, but then you have the secondary topic. So from the secondary topic, you can also choose something. And these are broad categories, and it doesn't really matter if it's not 100% accurate, as long as it fits into that category. Next, what type of Amazon items do you intend to list on your website? Okay, so you can select. Uh, I'm going to select electronics I'm also going to select digital downloads for example and maybe computers and office okay what type of site is your website? ok 
okay you can choose blog comparison shopping engine content on niche website coupons or deals website search i would recommend that you either select blog or content on niche website okay now secondary site type you can select blog website traffic and monetization how do you drive traffic to your website so um, there are many options here but i would select i would advise you to select the very uh, minimum or keep this to just one or two options because you don't want further questions paid search display advertising and these are two uh, related to paid ads but you can select seo you can also select email and blogs or social networks okay so anyway these are the four relevant ones and this is the danger zone here when you use paid search and display advertising because a lot of these affiliate networks have uh, very stringent policies on using pay-per-click ads like Google AdWords or other type of paid advertising where you are where you start bidding on keywords and they don't want you to actually bid on those keywords so avoid these two and um, you're good to go with the rest what else do you monetize on your websites okay so what else do you monetize on your website so if you have uh, promoting other stuff as well uh, in the case of niche point we allow you to put google adsense so you may want to choose contextual advertising like google adsense over here okay and if you are promoting uh, affiliate products you can also select other affiliate programs okay so i'm going to select two google adsense and other affiliate programs how do you usually build links okay so gonna select one um, what Amazon is asking here is basically how do you go about uh, promoting their products on your website so uh, the one that I recommend you to choose is content management system okay because Nishify essentially is a content management system how many unique visitors does your website get per month All right I would recommend going with less than 500 for, uh, at first and what is your primary reason for joining the Amazon Associates program? Choose one to get rich content for my site, okay, or to monetize my site. I recommend selecting to monetize my site. How did you hear about us? Okay, and you can just put online search. Okay, now comes the challenge here to enter the code and make sure you enter the code exactly as you see. Okay, and click on next. So in the next step, Amazon would ask you to verify uh, your identity by entering your phone number. Uh, if you are entering an international phone number, please include the full phone number along with the country code. Country code should include a leading plus. Okay, so for Malaysia where I am, it is plus six zero and um, you see the option call me now and if you mouse over the eye here okay uh, it gives you an example of how to format your phone number all right if you reside outside the us please include your country code beginning with plus for example and this example here okay zero one two okay Contract terms, agree to contract terms, and click on finish. Hmm? All right, so actually, you have to ask Amazon to give you a call. It's not an actual person that will be calling you, it's, it's, one, um, it's an automated system. So just click on call me now. And you can hear uh, the phone ringing so I'm going to go ahead and answer this hello okay and so basically what I have to do is I have to enter the pin number here I'm going to enter two six two five okay all 
Okay, good. So my identity has been confirmed. And it's very simple actually. As long as you enter the right phone number, you'll receive an automated call. The pin number is displayed right there and you can just enter the pin number, click on finish. Okay, and this is one of the final steps. Thank you for applying to the Amazon.com Associates program. Your unique Associates ID is Cradle 20. Okay, so why the 20 at the back? Um, I don't really have a good explanation for this, but it's been this way from the start. Um, Amazon automatically creates this part of it based on the name of your website. Okay, and then there is a dash 20. And this cannot be changed. You can add new IDs if you want, but you cannot change this. All right. Okay. And enter your payment and tax information. Okay. You can choose to do it now. And this is how Amazon will pay you. They can pay you either by a gift card, direct deposit, United States based associates only. So only if you're an affiliate in the US or pay me by check okay and then uh, I guess the only option here is to pay me by check you can also to make it easier for you select pay me by Amazon gift or certificate card what this means is that your commission should be paid in the form of an Amazon gift card and you can use it to buy products on Amazon but you can't cash it out but you can change your payment method later anyway I'm going to show you how to pay me by check submit and continue with text information.